Hi, this is Scott Bogren, and it is Tuesday, July 15th. I am the Communications Director for the Community Transportation Association of America here in Washington, D.C., and I'm here to give you an update on what's been happening with federal surface transportation policy here in the nation's capital. In the last 10 days, we've seen a lot of work in both the House and Senate to shore up the overall highway trust fund. Um, within the last uh, probably end of June, we started to see a lot of discussion about what potentially could take place if the trust fund runs into shortfall, the highway uh, trust fund runs into shortfall, as was at that point predicted in August. And as many uh, close observers of the Congress uh, predicted, um, there has been some relatively, and for this Congress, uh, very swift action in both the Senate Finance Committee and the House Ways and Means Committee to find dollars to shore up or get the trust fund um, uh, past its crisis. In the current environment of a surface transportation reauthorization, um, you should know that the fixing of the trust fund has clearly taken precedence away from reauthorization. So we'll, we'll talk that through a little bit later. But basically in the Senate and in the House, uh, the Senate had a bipartisan agreement initially to fix the trust fund through the end of December. The House Ways and Means Committee uh, had, a, had a proposal that looked at shoring up the trust fund through the end of May 2015, May 31st, 2015. And they had used some um, pension smoothing, um, some uh, another rate of the leaking underground storage tank fund or trust fund, basically non-transportation related uh, monies to uh, do this in the House. Uh, the House, uh, with uh, the Democrats wanting to hold it to December and the Republicans wanting to go through to May 31st, uh, along party lines voted to indeed go to May 31st. Uh, in committee and uh, move that up to the full House, which um, many expect to vote today. So that's Tuesday, July 15th to pass that. The Senate, um, while initially holding to the December date, seems as well uh, uh, Senator Wyden and Senator Hatch, the two key figures, uh, uh, Democrat and Republican, on the Senate Finance Committee, have seemed to also move their uh, plan now to that May 31st deadline. And last night, the Obama administration um, signaled that it would support uh, this. The key difference, and, and just to give you an idea that of those dates, the December 31st date versus the May 31st date, is really um, the idea that business as usual is just with these extensions and not dealing with the long-term sustainable funding that's necessary to pass a six-year surface transportation reauthorization. And certainly the Democrats in the House on the Ways and Means Committee, led by Congressman Blumenauer uh, of Oregon, have made a very clear point that they want this extension to only go through the end of December because that will be more likely to force a longer term solution to actually actually be dealt with, whether that would be um, uh, a gas tax increase or a uh, change in, in, in tax codes that would infuse the trust fund with money, something that would bring in a long term sustainable fund is what the Democrats seem to be after. And interestingly, on the far right side, there is a lot of angst about this current agreement because it is, um, as uh, the Club for Growth and others are pointing out, this is funded through budget gimmicks. So that's kind of where we are right now. Um, it's a key moment in that this will solve this issue 
before the August recess. And, and for those of you who've been uh, paying attention to these videos and other stuff that we've been putting out, we've always known that the end of July is kind of a, a, a hard stop in many ways. So they're going to fix the trust fund. They're going to have a clean uh, uh, extension of MAP21 to the end of May 31st, the, which then leads us to the reauthorization process. The Senate Environment and Public Works Committee actually did pass a highway title. The Banking Committee has not passed or even produced uh, for public view a transit title, and neither has the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee produced either a highway or a transportation title. So we don't really know a lot of what's happening in those committees beyond what um, has been spoken and, and some rumors and, and concepts. But uh, uh, And those committees will likely wait. Um, there's very little to be gained by putting forward a six-year bill uh, that can uh, be a target for the next eight months rather than waiting as we get closer to that May 31st. So I wouldn't expect right now to see anything come forward out of either House TNI or Senate banking in terms of a transportation title. So, you know, the, um, the upshot then is going to be, you know, where do we stand in community and public transportation? That means uh, similar funding, uh, flat funding to the end of May, um, not something that is uh, necessarily where we want to be, but that is what we're looking at. And um, the opportunities to get at the bus funding issue for our small urban members to try to increase the small transit intensive cities funding um, is going to be pushed back as well. So uh, uh, if, if, if you're a, a student of French, you would, you would, you would know the old phrase, uh, uh, the more things change, the more they stay the same. What we are seeing right now is, once again, the 114th Congress kind of kicking the can down the road, which uh, is a bad cliche that we've used a lot recently to get us to the 115th Congress. Uh, we do have elections in November that will very likely play a key role in what we see emerge in 2015. Um, I don't expect the House to change, but the Senate is certainly in play between the Republicans and the Democrats, and the outcomes of those will have a big impact on what we see happen in 2015. So that's where we are right now. This is, a, again, our July 15th uh, federal uh, transportation and surface transportation update, and I hope you have a great day.